Welcome back guys to another video. Today's video is a little more different because other than me doing the usual, you know, stop motion or a day with Zilla, today I'm going to do a review. Now I have done a couple of reviews before but today I just, I kind of thought I, I would do another one. Today's review is on the NECA Godzilla 2000, Godzilla <laughs> Tokyo SOS. Um, it's part of the Manelian series, I can't say it correctly, but it's a part of the most latest Godzilla's, Godzilla series. And today, um, we're just going to take a look on the figure. First, let's start with the box. So here's the front of the box. Um, as I see, you have the pretty cool poster, and the, the shows how much I, pay, I paid for it. Um, well, I mean, my dad technically paid for it. <laughs> Um, it shows some of the characters, Martha, um, um, what's his name again, uh, Kiryu, my bad, um, and Martha Lava, okay, if you look on the side, more of the monsters, and again, got some images of the figures, of the figure, as you see, here's, in, here's him in some poses, already the figure looks pretty good. And just the same thing on the other side. Now if you look inside of the actual thing, you'll see that there's another cool image of the thing itself, you know. Then you have this clear thing, uh, you can't really see it. But if you can, um, you can see that it has like a little building. Um, you can't see it as good as I can see it, but like it's a really, it's a really cool thing that they're doing with the new figures. Now, let's actually get into the figure itself. So here's the figure, and overall, I really love this figure. Like, I think it's one of my favorites now. From the detail, to the sculpt, ah, it's overall just like a really good figure. And there are some weird parts. For example, right here, they decided to go for more of like a, um, how do I describe it? Other than like the soldier, other, th other than this being attached, it's just kind of like a separate piece, like a, I'm not too sure how to describe it. And I get, and I guess it's, and I guess it's understandable the, because you want extra neck movement, and unless you want to cut this little thing off, then, then it ain't gonna really look as good. So I can kind of understand what they're doing, but like, in some parts, it does get a little annoying, like, like right there, sometimes I can kind of, you know. I wish you could have figured out another way, but you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, another thing that's a little weird to me is, um, where was it again? Ah, uh, the eyes. They just seem a little big to me. I'm not too sure, I'm, I don't, when I look at the box and when I look at the figure, they just, they don't really, they don't really look as big as they are, as they are in the film. But overall, the sculpt and the and all the painting, it's beautiful. Um, now let's get into the articulation. So let's look at the tail first. Um, as you see, um, most recently NECA has been doing the the traditional ball joints. So ball joint right here, ball joint right there. It's another ball joint, ball joint right here, right there, and there. Some, uh, some issues that we had with the camera, my bad. And um, there was one right here, and right here. And those, and this is on a bendy rail, so you can bend it around if you want to give it extra pulls for the tail. Uh, let's go to the actual main body itself. So in here you can, so, so this part right here is on a, I believe it's on the boulder, and you can just like, do the traditional swivel. You can kind of move it up and down, just a little. And this, as you know, gives it extra neck articulation. And here's the actual head itself. You can open the mouth this way, and you can close it all the way. So here are the arms. Um, I will admit they are a little tiny. Just a little. At least to me, they are a little tiny. I wish they were just a little bigger. But here, it's on a bowl joint, I'm pretty sure it is. It's on a hinge joint, I think that's what they call it. Oh yeah. Here's the traditional swivel. 
can move the hand up and down. And as usual in NECA figures, you can move the fingers, which is pretty cool. It's all the same for this, uh, for this arm. For the legs, you can get an an okay spread. It's not really a spread; just more kind of moving it. Um, here's, ooh, you can you can move the legs a little, so you can so you can kick this far. This is how far you can really kick, and you can also move it this forward like this for the legs you can move it around and you can also kind of get a pivot so overall this figure is pretty good i really like it um i think it's one of my favorites actually i'm still in the beta if it's my favorite between um my bandai vinyl godzilla final wars but like if I didn't have that, then yeah, I would definitely say this is one of my favorites. Anyways, that's all for this video. I know it's a little different. I promise next upload will be a stop motion video. Then after that, I'll eventually do a, a day with Zilla. Then I will do the video on Planet of the Apes. Just stop projects take a little while to make. And um, this is a little more easier. And school, basically, online school just started. So it's just, it's. I just need, I'm just trying to find the time to work on... Godzilla Wrath of the Titans, uh, David Zilla, and the, and the Planet of the Apes trilogy um, review. So it's just taking a little longer, and these videos are a little more easier. So don't ex so I kind of expect these videos once once in a while. Without other way, see you guys next time. Bye bye.